What is up, YouTube? This is T. Quentin One coming out from the video. Today, I'm going to be talking about Superman 2. Now, when I rewatched Richard Donner's original Superman movie, I was very pleasantly surprised at just how well it held up. I mean, sure, it was dated in some areas, but overall, I still think it stands as a pretty solid film, even amongst the sea of comic book films released since then. Superman 2, however, is more of a mixed bag. Now, to be fair, there are some good things in it. In fact, there are some great things in it. But there are just as many things, in my opinion, that just flat out don't work. Not among them is Christopher Reeve and Margot Kidder. They are still great in the weeds of this film. In fact, they might be even better as their relationship really starts to grow in this movie. And there is more action here than in the first film, but it's kind of a trade-off because I think the first film, although there wasn't a lot of action scenes, they were better directed than this film, in my opinion. Uh, the one area that I really do think it improves over the original, though, is the villains. They are awesome. Not only do we get Gene Hackman back as Lex Luthor, and he's just as great here as he was in the original, but we also get Terrence Stamp as General Zod, who is one of the best comic book movie villains ever, and he has the perfect balance of insanity and aloofness. Now, what I mean by that is there are these scenes where he just goes nuts on people, but then in others, it's queer he has such an apathetic view of Earth and the humans that inhabited it, that he is, just views them as almost as playthings or just minor annoyances. It's actually a lot more entertaining than I thought it would be. And Sarah Douglas does a pretty good job as Ursa as well, although non felt kind of unnecessary and a bit too comedic, which leads me into my next point. There is way, way too much comedy in this film, and very little of it is actually funny. In fact, most of it just comes off as pretty lame. And yes, the first film had comedy, but it all felt very natural, and it still played it relatively straight. This film is far more tongue-in-cheek, and it's queer Richard Lester just does not have the same love and respect for Superman that Richard Donner does. The plot is also, in my opinion, a bit meandering. I mean, there's a good chunk of the movie where it's just Zod and his companions experimenting with their powers. And also there's a section of the movie where Clark and Lois are, like, disguised as lovers to expose some sort of financial back. To I, it wasn't really clear what they were doing, but it just felt unnecessary. Speaking of unnecessary... There's this really out-of-place subplot about Superman losing his powers, which, I grant you, that could work. It just doesn't here. He gets them back like a scene later, so it feels really tacked on, as well as, to be honest, just needlessly depressing. And it stands out even more because this film is very light and heavy on comedy, as I said, but, I mean, damn, like, there's a scene of Chris Reeve just getting the shit beat out of him, and it just doesn't fit in this kind of movie. So yeah, Superman 2 is okay, in my opinion. There's really not that much here outside of the villains that are all that worth of note. I'm gonna, I'm still going to give it a 7 out of 10, because it's not bad, it's just not all that good either. It's T. Quentin 1 signing out.